What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Ecocalypse video. All right guys, I'm gonna just talk about something real quick. Uh, there's something a lot of people don't understand about this game and I just wanna get this point across fairly quickly. So you guys are aware that multiple YouTubers create tier lists. We all talk about it. There's always a meta that's coming out. With this game, the meta changes very, very quickly, okay? And I wanna talk a little bit about what the meta looks like now versus what it's gonna look like very soon uh, and how it's gonna continue to progress and it's up to you how you want to approach this, right? And I think this is an important video because it will explain to you guys how you want to go about building your account. Whether you want to be patient now and just save for the meta coming up, or if you want to do the meta now, take advantage of the rewards, and then try your best to get what's coming out of the meta in the future. So, right now the meta is pretty straightforward, all right? It's, it's DPS is king, okay? So if you look at any tier list right now, Aiken is probably SS. Uh, Levy is either S or SS, Audrey's SS, so it's Rage, DPS, and CC, right? And you have, uh, like, Fenruru, who's an A or an S, you have Niz, who's up there, you have uh, Zawa, who's up there, so Rayon, who's up there for DPS, so right now, the majority of, of units that are up there are going to be DPS and CC and Rage. So Rage building is very important because it allows your DPS to continue DPSing, with their specials and then of course cc is important because it controls the battlefield allowing you to survive more attacks without needing tanks or healers for the most part so niz and zawa play a very big role in that regard burn teams are still a little bit iffy you know like you guys don't have curry you don't have griff yet so those will eventually get a little bit better as time goes on but for now the the, the main thing is that right now this is the c version okay and i want to talk a little bit about units that are coming out of the future and how they're going to change the game a little bit so we have rage right now that's huge Right, and eventually there's going to be units that that reduce rage. Okay, and, and those are going to be very important. So that's going to change the meta a lot. So for all of you who are like jumping on to like full time Audrey, full time Levia, yes, they're great right now, but this game changes the meta very quickly. So depending on how global approach is releasing, we may see some rage removers very soon too that'll counter attack Levia and Audrey, leaving them pretty much crippled with their main effects, right? And not to mention already that people who start with full rage may also lose their, their affinities and their, their statuses, like Aiken, for example, or Kiki, etc. right? Who start off with full rage and is. Those units, without the proper full rage, start to drop the tier list very quickly. So <clears throat> the main thing to note is a lot of people are worried about um, losing to the meta now or not having the meta now but the meta again will change very quickly okay and again if you're following c and that's how they they plan to continue going it's it's something that'll happen on almost almost on a monthly to a month and a half to two month basis so for example like caroline is a huge part of the meta still right now and c right um if you guys don't know what she does uh, she swings her whip dealing physical damage equal to 64 percent attacking three enemies and leaves a, a ring of fire uh, on her side on the field each time the case on her side takes action will consume one ring of fire the ring of fire removes one control effect from oneself before action and the attack adds true damage to 50 percent of some uh, of her armor and resistance so this is big because she scales off of armor and resistance no unit currently does that right so she's actually going to be huge for this because she's going to now become the most tanky unit out there allowing you to play a game on a different level Right, so if you look here, Chimera's Claw, after an active attack, if the target's HP percentage remains unchanged to deal 30% original damage on the target, and this damage ignores the side effect of shield, when actively attacked, remove one removable negative status from oneself and, ref and reflect true damage equal to 300% of the sum of her armor and resistance back to the attacker. So these are the kind of things that are going to change, right? Even though right now we have, um, we have ourselves DPS as king and CC, units like this will come out and shake the foundation of the game. Right, and, and then things will look a lot different based off of how people use them and how they build them. Lilith is another big one. Lilith is a huge AoE control, allowing temptation, um, having the ability to do massive DPS. Uh, so Obsession, right? There's a lot of, and if you guys want to check out the video, I've talked about the top five or 10 units that are coming out in the future. She was one of them. Caroline was one of them. You guys can go back and check out the video. But I just want to talk a little bit about how people are very focused about the game now. But if you haven't noticed, banners are coming out like hotcakes, right? So just be careful of how much you put time and investment into a character because they will very quickly be replaced down the line. Now, not to say like Aiken is useless after a month. She's just overshadowed, right? That's She's eventually just overtaken from a damage perspective and just from a utility perspective because there's better units that come out with more damage, better DPS, uh, better overall kits, 
right? Let's be real, better waifu, qu- waifu quality, even though she's amazing. But, like, you see someone like Note here, right? Who also is very similar to someone like Niz, who does the freeze thing, but her freeze is way better. Just has way more to offer, right? So, these are, th- these are units like this that come out that eventually make someone like Niz not useless, but, again, m- make them really drop down the tier list. Like, someone like Note, who has so much more significant effects on her freezes, on her frostbites, on all of, all of her skills will make someone like Nith, who someone who invested Nith to seven stars, regret it. Because you're going to be like, oh, damn, I should have waited, and I should have got somebody like this instead, who could do a lot more for me. So, just be careful. I just want to make this clear out here. Like, Niall's coming out as well, too, eventually, right? And that's another really big unit here. Does Drunken Breath, does Pursuit as well. It's an insane amount of damage. Um... You know, deal equal damage to a normal attack with no rage restored and no drunken breath gain. Like, she does a lot of different things here. Um, she does damage reduction, she does insane DPS, so like, she does a pursuit. So, there's a lot here, guys, that is going to come out very quickly, and it's going to make a lot of big spenders regret spending too soon, and it's going to be very unattainable to keep up with the meta. So, for those who are free to play players, you may want to think about this a little bit, right? Like, I'm not, I can't really say when these units are going to come out, but when they do, again, it's going to shake the very meta that's happening right now, and you're going to see tier lists completely swap and alter every month, and you're going to be like, oh, crap, I just followed this tier list, it gave me the wrong advice, and I'm upset about this. Well, the problem is it's not wrong advice, it's just the advice that's happening at the moment in time, and because this game is built to be a money, like, to, to build to make money, it's going to essentially continuously drop units that again will change everything that you see in a tier list so take a tier list think about it for about three three weeks to one month and a half and that's the meta you're following okay after that meta changes that tier list is no longer valid and needs to be updated and things will automatically change for you from a player perspective and for units that were actually considered meta will completely be different okay so remember this i think it's very important for people to have that mindset that not everything is going to stay the same, even though you've spent, you know, insane amount of money to get your Levia to seven stars because you thought Rage is going to be the the big thing. It's not. Like, Audrey and, Me- and Levia stay relevant because they do provide Rage, but remember, they're not going to stay meta very long. They'll always be relevant, just not meta. And I think that's the word people keep following. Um, following the meta is very, very difficult to do because in these kind of games, you are either spending an arm and a leg to stay ahead because of the amount of times they drop banners and how much characters come out, or you are going to save up and wait for the, the meta that makes the most sense to you, or lastly, you just play the game to collect waifus and have fun. So for those who are just like, you know, like they need, like for here is an example of a, of a unit, right? So new, new is huge, like look what she does here. The fire goes against the current dealing damage to four enemies, heating up, scorch land, transforms it, etc. Here, this is where... And if the target deals a normal attack, there's 20% chance their rage will not be restored. If the target's attack with a skill, there's a 20% chance to increase the rage required to casting a skill for the first time by the caster. Like, these are all massive things to change the entire landscape of the rage meta, right? So, units like this will come out and shake the foundation of the game. And just you guys are going to need to remember this. The game will always evolve. And if you're not evolving with it, it's fine. Just play for fun. But just don't keep competitive or else you're going to look at tier lists and be upset at everyone's tier list and think everyone's giving you the wrong information. When in fact, it's just constantly changing and evolving. All right, guys. This is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.